cucumbers these are standard cucumbers they have five male flowers to every female flower male flowers provide the most pollen the most food male flowers feed your bees and your butterflies female flowers have very little pollen in them and that is so that the bee will continue to the male flowers making sure every fruit is fertile and the seeds are viable and wonderful these are two seeds that i bought based upon the fancy talk in the seed catalog um, i read several reviews on them and based upon that i bought them i wasted my money on this crap I am so mad that seed companies are not taking the initiative to give people the warning. Instead, they're just selling you another seed. There's nothing that says that it has only female flowers. They don't tell you that. And they have quite a verbiage. And this is the verbiage that the um, Beta Alpha wants put out because I went to several different seed companies. They all have the same message. So it's not like I'm singling out in my gardener. Not one seed company told me what I found out on YouTube from a gardener who took it upon himself to give the information to be successful growing these. He loves them, but I'm warning you about them. And he, his information was a warning Two, if you like to grow more than one cucumber, don't grow these because they'll make all your cucumbers bitter. I mean, that's important for those of us who buy seed. Hey everybody, I'm on here with a warning. Aren't I the, always the one doing the warnings? And you know, I just have a, us few, you know, us, us foe and no more. But you know, God's gonna expand my channel. I know he is. In the meantime, we can all get this information out to those who need it. These are not good for your urban gardeners. These are not good for your urban gardeners. I'm going to take you back to previous situations that have already gone full through. I got to explain to you with your Western mindset, what's so bad about these. Okay, I remember when seedless watermelon came out. Seedless watermelon have taken over the grocery store. That means that you and I can't go into the grocery store, buy a watermelon, and then grow it like we can a cantaloupe at this time. Uh-uh, you can't do that because it doesn't have any seeds in it. Well, you like most people don't want to grow their watermelon. There's a ton of people in this world who have spit out next year's watermelon crop in their backyard, and they should be able to do it every year. But, okay. That's just a mild thing. The seedless watermelon was something that some people in Africa, where watermelon is an indigenous crop and it's highly necessary for some people to sustain themselves and not starve. It is foraged if their um, domestic crops don't make it. Watermelon is something that they can live off of. You in the Western world think of watermelon as just a red fruit inside of the watermelon are seeds those seeds are just like sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds people survive on those around the world you take the seed out you take the protein out you take the oils out you take the omega fatty acids out and all you got left is a fruit and a vegetable oh that's the other thing we in the western world only eat the fruit that's easy you know we come from a slave culture I don't mean me as an African-American was a slave. I mean, our society and our mindset is based upon the fact that we expect somebody else to do the work and us to profit off of it. That's called slavery. So we don't eat the vegetable because it's too much work. But a lot of us on YouTube do eat the vegetable. The vegetable is the rind. It's highly nutritious. The watermelon is a perfect food. It can sustain people. 
But when seedless watermelon went to Africa, the people didn't think that it wasn't going to have any protein in it. They didn't think about that. They didn't think um, that there were no longer going to be watermelons that would just grow wild. They didn't realize that the seedless watermelon is sterile. And not only is the seedless watermelon sterile, but every watermelon that pollinates with a seedless watermelon has the potential to produce sterile fruits. So when it came next year where they could go out and get some food, there was no food. People starved in Africa because of the introduction of a seedless fruit, a sterile fruit, a fruit that it was the last generation. And after that, if you have no grocery store, if you have no slaves, if you're poor, if you gotta go out and pick dinner, there was no dinner to pick. So I'm gonna do a little plug here that will be in another video to let people know that I didn't forget about this topic. I just wanted to do a whole video on it. Amiral Puri acids is a toxic chemical that is used to kill broadleaf plants. That would be your vegetables. Just go in a grocery store produce department, any fresh produce, lettuce, any, all of that stuff is broadleaf. And these amino acids kill it. This is another part of the Western uh, selfish farming technique that we have. If you are a person that loves roses, there were people in agriculture who saw brambles as a weed in their uh, beautiful vegetable farms. So they created a, uh, they created a virus, a disease that um, when you put it on the brambles, they would get sick and die. And they thought, no harm, no foul. Well, now the rose mosaic virus is killing ancient rose gardens and backyard rose gardens all around the world. It looks wicked. And there's very little that most people can do about it. I create my own stuff that kills that virus. But I mean, that's not on the market. That's just my little homegrown stuff. I do have a video about it where I show me putting it on my rose with the virus and then the rose got healthy after that and I in that video showed what it was but good luck finding that old video it's probably um, 12 years old by now but I'm gonna give you one more of famine I gave you one of famine before I'm give you another one in India they decided to take on the commercial gardening method of the Western world and try to apply them in India farmers starved they starved and they started committing suicide and ruin it introduced cancer to their society because our form of gardening is based upon killing stuff well all that stuff that kills stuff kills people and it's not sustainable uh what they the western gardeners didn't admit to is the fact that western farmers have to always be buying a new farm well those indian gardeners couldn't buy a, those indian farmers couldn't buy a new farm they are in the family farm business so when they ruined their farm they had nowhere to go no other land to go on they were out of it and many of them committed suicide their family starved and died they drank the insecticide as poison that it ruined their lives i'll tell you if you notice with our farmers market gardeners and all that kind of thing they're always plowing a new patch of land they're always getting a new piece of land prepared they're having to remove the rock remove the trees remove the this remove the that remove anything that could be sustainable now you understand that our western way of doing things is not innocent if we don't provide people with all the information had they told the indian farmers that the only way the system of gardening was works after you rape the land and use all the resources calling it productivity that land's dead you got to buy a new farm and do this that and the other those farmers would have then understood wait a minute i'm not going to be able to do that we've been on the same farm for hundreds of years so we don't have any other farm i can't do that but they didn't tell them that and now we get to this it's what they don't tell you that really, really makes me mad. Bait alpha cucumbers, as I uh, insinuated to before, 
only have female flowers in them. So you have to, just like with seedless watermelon, you have to grow a regular cucumber to, to pollinize these some kind of way. And then you have to understand that you cannot grow any other cucumber with this. So if you've got your Space Masters, your Market Moors, your Brown Russians, your White Wonders, your favorite cucumber that you grow every year, and then you grow this cucumber, these cucumbers, when they are over-pollinated by male flowers, become bitter. They, they, they are hollow. And they also make your regular cucumbers sterile and bitter as well. So you end up with no cucumbers. Okay, I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to bring it home because y'all not thinking about it like me. You're not thinking about it yet. Uh, when it comes to curcubits, isolation means one mile or sometimes two miles from another garden if you are an urban garden and you got 20 to 50 feet uh, there's a fence 20 feet away from anywhere you're gardening where you're bordered from somebody else who right now is probably garden they went to the store and bought their seeds if they're growing bait alphas within a mile of where you're growing your cucumbers, this year you could have the worst cucumber year you ever had. What information could they have put on these beta alphas that would make sense? They could have said this is a greenhouse cucumber only. You grow this in complete isolation in a greenhouse that you do not open up to bees. This is supposed to be either hand pollinated or it is supposed to grow by itself and it will produce cucumbers in a greenhouse. You're seeing tons of people showing all these cucumbers they got in their greenhouse. They're growing these beta alphas. Do you have a greenhouse? Do you have a greenhouse big enough to grow cucumbers? Do you just wanna grow these cucumbers right here? Oh, do you like to save seed? If these pollinate your regular cucumber, you know, it's not a situation where you won't have this particular cucumber because I make my own varieties all the time and they work better in my garden. But um, you won't have any viable seed. Next year when you're putting those seed out, ain't nothing coming up. So this also makes you into a trap customer. This is a gardening form of hoeing like the seed seedless watermelon you can't grow seedless watermelon from seed you have to buy seed every year so now you are a hoe to the seed company you working for them you can't grow your own seed and this thing is going to go out in your garden and destroy it like the pharmaceutical dope dealers that killed off half of america by um getting them hooked on drugs and then they overdose that's what this is in the seed community and it's gonna come with famine what if next year you can't get a hold of seed this year it was hard enough what if next year it's worth what if next year all the big um farms have run out of seeds they buy up everything and you can't get seed because you're just a peon in this ocean you're just a guppy in this big sea of sharks and whales and dolphins and there's nothing left for you if you uh, during this pandemic there were times where seed houses said hey i'm not selling to just any every man but if you own a seed company if you are a home depot contact our customer service and we will send you what we have so they did big business but they didn't do small business i hope i made my point the same for you urban gardeners guess what i'm still here jesus loves you and i love you with all the jesus in me be blessed beautiful